The arguing Amazon shut up immediately. The queen waved them aside and beckoned Kenzie forward. Kinsey shoved Hazel and her friends towards the throne. My queen, these demigods... The queen shot to her feet. You! She glared at Percy Jackson with murderous rage. Percy muttered something in ancient Greek that Hazel was pretty sure the nuns at St. Agnes wouldn't have liked. Clipboard, he said. Spy? Pirates? This made no sense to Hazel, but the queen nodded. She stepped down from her dais of bestsellers and drew a dagger from her belt. You are incredibly foolish to come here, she said. You destroyed my home. You made my sister and me exiles and prisoners. Percy, Frank said uneasily. What's this guy, woman with the dagger talking about? Cersei's Island, Percy said. I just remembered. The Gorgon's blood. Maybe it's starting to heal my mind. The Sea of Monsters. Ahelia, she welcomed us at the docks, took us to see her boss. Hilia worked for the sorceress. Hilia bared her perfect white teeth. Are you telling me you've had amnesia? You know, I might actually believe you. Why else would you be stupid enough to come here? We come in peace, Hazel insisted. What did Percy do? Peace? The queen raised her eyebrows at Hazel. What did he do? This male destroyed Cersei's school of magic. Cersei turned me into a guinea pig, Percy protested. No excuses, Hilia said. Cersei was a wise and generous employer. I had room and board, a good health plan, dental, pet leopards, free potions, everything, and this demigod with his friend, the blonde, Annabeth. Percy tapped his forehead like he wanted the memories to come back faster. That's right. I was there with Annabeth. You released our captives, Blackbeard and his pirates. She turned to Hazel. Have you ever been kidnapped by pirates? It isn't fun. They burned our spot to the ground. My sister and I were prisoners for months. Fortunately, we were the daughters of Bellona. We learned to fight quickly. If we hadn't... She shuddered. Well, the pirates learned to respect us. Eventually, we made our way to California, where we... She hesitated as if the memory was painful. Where my sister and I parted ways. She stepped forward towards Percy until they were nose to nose. She ran her dagger under his chin. Of course, I survived and prospered. I have risen to be queen of the Amazons, so perhaps I should thank you. You're welcome, Percy said. The queen dug her knife in a little deeper. Never mind, I think I'll kill you. Wait, Hazel yelped. Raina sent us, your sister. Look at the ring on his necklace. Hilia frowned. She lowered her knife to Percy's necklace until the point rested on the silver ring. The color drained from her face. Explain this! She glared at Hazel. Quickly! Hazel tried. She described Camp Jupiter. She told the Amazons about Reyna being the praetor and the army of monsters that was marching south. She told them about her quest to free Thanatos in Alaska. As Hazel talked, another group of Amazons entered the room. One was taller and older than the rest, with plaited silver hair and fine silk robes like a Roman matron. The other Amazons made way for her, treating her with such respect that Hazel wondered if she wasn't Hilia's mother until she noticed how Hilly and the older woman stared daggers at each other. So we need your help, Hazel finished her story. Raina needs your help. Hilly gripped Percy's leather cord and yanked it off his neck. Beads, ring, probatio tablet, and all. Raina, that foolish girl. Well, the older woman interrupted. Romans need our help. She laughed and the Amazons around her joined in. How many times have we battled the Romans in my day? The woman asked. How many times they killed our sisters in battle, when I was queen? Otera, oh, Hilia interrupted. You're here as a guest. You are not queen anymore. The older woman spread her hands and made a mocking bow. As you say, at least until tonight. But I speak the truth, queen, Hilia. She said the word like it was a taunt. I've been brought back by Mother Earth herself. I bring the tidings of a new war. Why should Amazons follow Jupiter, that stupid, foolish king of Olympus, when we can follow a queen? When I take command... If you take command, Hilia said. But for now, I am queen. My word is law. I see. Otera looked at the assembled Amazons, who were standing very still, as if they found themselves in a pit with two wild tigers. We have become so weak that we listen to male demigods? Will you spare the life of the son of Neptune, even though he once destroyed your home? Perhaps you'll let him destroy your new home, too. Hazel held her breath. The Amazons looked back and forth between Hylia and Otera, watching for any sign of weakness. I will pass judgment, 
Hilia said in an icy tone. Once I have the facts. That's how I rule. By reason, not fear. First, I will talk with this one. She jabbed a finger towards Hazel. It is my duty to hear out a female warrior before I sentence her or her allies to death. That is the Amazon way. Or have your years in the underworld muddled your memory, Otera? The woman sneered, but she didn't try to argue. Hilia turned to Kinsey. Take these males to the holding cells. The rest of you, leave us. Otera raised her hand to the crowd. As our queen commands, but any of you who would like to hear more about Gaia, our glorious future with her, come with me. About half the Amazons followed her out of the room. Kinsey snorted with disgust, and then she and her guards hauled Percy and Frank away. Soon, Hilly and Hazel were alone, except for the queen's personal guards. At Hilly's signal, even they moved out of earshot. The queen turned towards Hazel. Her anger dissolved, and Hazel saw desperation in her eyes. The queen looked like one of her caged animals being whisked off a conveyor belt. We must talk, Hilia said. We don't have much time. By midnight, I'll most likely be dead. 